What's going on guys? Hope you're having a good day whenever and wherever you're watching this. If you do not know me and you've never seen my face before, hello, how's it going? Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Jim Galvin, I'm a former Royal Marines Commando, Team GB bobsleigh athlete and two-time Guinness World Record holder in endurance team deadlifting event activities. I don't think that's the official title but that's, that's pretty much paints the picture. Basically, I want to say straight off the bat, thank you, welcome for coming to my brand new YouTube channel. Basically, the whole purpose of this is I'm in a position now where I'm doing everything I can to think outside the box in an attempt to optimise my performance, my physique and my health and longevity. And this is why we're here today and this is what I want to do. I basically want to share everything that I'm doing with you guys now, everything that some of my friends and colleagues are doing. Hopefully we can get some of those guys involved as well and basically document my journey to try and make myself better in every possible way. Right? Simple. So with that being said, today I want to talk about something that I believe, personally, is the lowest hanging fruit to improve all of these things. It can improve your physique, it can improve your performance, it can improve your overall health and longevity, and that is... Sleep. <laughs> now before you switch off and get bored with this, I know it's a pretty dry and boring subject, but it is genuinely game changing if you get it right. We focus on training, we focus on nutrition, we focus on recovery methods, but for some reason sleep is so fundamental to both our performance, our cognition, everything, and it's something that so few people kind of investigate as to how to make it better for them and work for them. So one of the things I'll say straight off the bat that's important for everyone to know is that sleep quality and sleep quantity is not the same thing, which means in theory you could be lying in bed for eight hours a night with your eyes closed sleeping, if you're not getting the good quality deep cycle REM sleep that your body needs, you're not going to enjoy all of the benefits that this process allows. Some of these benefits are cognitive, like kind of a neurological reshuffling, mental acuity improvement throughout the day. Some of these benefits are physiological, we're talking about muscular recovery, we're talking about immune system function, endocrine system function, hormone balance, which again, as I'm sure you can imagine when we're looking at optimizing physique performance and health, all of those things are pretty important, right? For those of you that follow some of the other stuff I'm doing right now, you will know that I spend a lot of time investigating different methods, uh, avenues and kind of hacks back towards ancestral living. No, I'm not suggesting that anyone packs a bag, pops smoke and goes and disappears in the woods for the next six months. And this is a mistake. But what I am stating is that we are lucky enough to live in a world now in 2020 or 2021, I don't know what you're watching, to have enough technology that exists, enough experts, enough research, and enough literature to at least allow us to have different kind of vehicles, different kind of methods that can help us hack our way back to a more natural, normal way of living. It might not be normal anymore, but it pretty much was for most of humanity. Sleep has been an absolute nightmare for me at times during my athletic career, and I think that's one of the reasons why I've tried a couple of different things to try and help it, and now I know personally just how much better I feel now that it is improved. And this is one of the difficult things with a lot of these subjects. If something's been going on in your body or your mind for so long, you might have forgotten what it feels like to actually have it working properly. But I can assure you again, just anecdotally from my experience, it is absolutely game changing when this particular part of your lifestyle improves. So as you might have guessed, there are a couple of things that I'm doing and taking right now as part of my kind of sleep routine, I guess you'd call it, that definitely helped my sleep over the last couple of months. And that's what I want to share with you now. Check this out. Numero uno. Number one, my Blu-ray blocking glasses. Now these are probably the linchpin of my entire kind of sleep routine and the one of the five things that I'm about to show you has made the most difference in my ability to sleep properly and then obviously feel better and actually enjoy the benefits the next day. Now blue rays are a specific ray of light that is emitted from pretty much all electronic devices that we tend to use. Phones, tablets, laptops, etc. When you're looking at these just before bed, this particular blue ray of light is just basically going straight into your eyeballs, stimulating your brain and keeping you in what's called the sympathetic nervous system, which is basically that fight or flight state that makes you feel ready, that makes you feel alert, which is great throughout the day, but not exactly what you want when you're trying to decompress and enter into what's called the parasympathetic nervous system, which is nicknamed the rest and digest state before bed. You cannot make the transition from the sympathetic into the parasympathetic properly when you are staring at your phone 10 seconds before you go to sleep. Now again, one of the problems with communicating this to you guys now is that you might say, well, you know, I'm on my phone just before I go to bed, literally an inch away from my face, I put it down and I'm straight off to sleep. But again, 
if you are not doing this stuff properly, sleep quantity and quality not being the same thing means you might be in inverted commas asleep. You fell asleep? For eight hours a night, but it means that you are not getting good quality sleep if you stick this thing centimeter away from your eyeballs for an hour scrolling through Instagram just before you close your eyes and go to bed. Numero dos, magnesium oil spray. So here we have some uh, Better You, which is the brand. Some magnesium sleep body spray, and basically magnesium is a mineral. It's not particularly well ingested, but is much more efficiently and effectively absorbed. That's a really kind of overly convoluted sentence to say it'll probably be better absorbed through the skin than it would be if you took it in a tablet. So transdermal absorption is a very popular method these days. That's why people take things like Epsom salt baths. Epsom is basically magnesium salts to absorb through their skin. I don't really know from an evolutionary standpoint where that comes from. I heard once that, uh, that we used to get it through rivers and that kind of thing. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not really that bothered as to why in this case. All I want to know is which way of taking it is going to be best for me. Magnesium as a mineral at a chemical level helps that transition that I was talking about a minute ago from the sympathetic into the parasympathetic nervous state. So when you kind of partner this stuff with the Blu-ray block and glasses that I was talking to you about a minute ago, perfect combination. Numero three. Guys, here is something called Night Aid by a company called G&G Vitamins. G&G Vitamins is a company that I recently affiliated with. I can say with 100% integrity and authenticity that there are probably two multivitamin supplements that I've taken over the last five years that are not G&G. I think their product line is incredible and I think they are uh, one of the purest and cleanest vitamin companies on the market. Plug. Discount code GYM10, talk about that later. I've been taking this for about two weeks and I do believe this has helped. This is basically a 5-HTP supplement that has added magnesium and added... Addict? Addict. Added. Added it. With added reishi mushroom or reishi mushroom, which is another sleep-inducing compound. And this has all of it in one. Guys, I've been taking this for about two weeks now and it has definitely improved, I think. But what I'm going to do now is do what I believe everyone should do in my position and admit that I don't think I've been taking this long enough to give you guys an effective, efficient and authentic review. So I'm going to keep taking this for another month or so and then track the progress properly to see whether or not I think that it has had an effect or not. So I'm not going to take it once and go, I slept really well last night, it's fantastic. I've only taken it once and there are a million other variables involved, but yeah, yeah, 100% endorse it. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to try it a little bit more, because I think that's a fair way to do things, hope you agree. Numero quattro, CBD oil. Yes! Caveat, this isn't CBD oil. <coughs> I've run out and I recycled my bottle because I'm good like that, so I don't currently have one. So let's use this as a prop. CBD oil is, I was going to say it's controversial, I don't know if that's the case or not anymore, it shouldn't be. It's a lot less controversial than it was say 10-15 years ago. Uh, I don't think there are that many deleterious results or effects I should say with taking CBD oil. I have personally noted a general decrease in uh, feelings of anxiety through the day and an increase in sleep quality in kind of the year or so that I've been taking it. Those feelings of anxiety through the day actually came back for a couple of months and I started to track back why that had happened and uh, the only thing that I changed was I'd stopped taking my CBD oil. So I got some more again to see whether or not I did uh, feel a change and I did and those, those feelings of anxiety through the day went away again. So it was never a mass massive issue for me but it is something I kind of noticed an undercurrent of. I personally haven't experienced any negative side effects or results with CBD oil at all. For those of you that don't know, CBD oil is basically uh, an incredibly beneficial health inducing chemical compound found in certain special plants. You are not going to get high taking CBD oil. It does not have what's called THC, which is the hallucinogenic component that is taken out. No one has taken one too many drops of CBD oil and think they got to work on a flipping magic carpet. Get out the road. Do not worry, you are not going to trip your balls off because you squeeze the pipette a little bit too enthusiastically. Still a very young science and young investigation into this, but for me personally, I think it is one of the best medicines on the planet. Mumble number five. And here we have a weighted blanket. This is something that I've had for probably about six weeks now. I don't use it every night, but the nights that I do, I find it quite soothing. It is basically exactly what it says in the tin. It's a Romsil product. 
It is a weighted blanket. It is a blanket that is weighted. This thing right here weighs about nine kilos. It's a bit of a chunk, so I'm gonna put it down so I'm not very strong. Jesus Christ, it's supposed to be rest day. It works under the scientific principle called deep touch pressure, which basically means your brain thinks it's safer and more secure when it's got more weight kind of pushing down on it because it feels, again, safer and more secure. And with that, your brain then allows itself to enter into a deeper sleep state because it doesn't feel as though it has to be on as much of an alert. That's the science, anecdotally for me, I've been taking, taking this. I've been eating my weighted blanket for the last couple of months. I've probably been using this for the last four to six weeks and I have noticed that the nights I've had it, it does feel very soothing. If you're claustrophobic, I don't know, really know how you get on with this. I'm not, I'd quite happily sleep in a cupboard because it makes me feel safe. All right, see you in the morning. It might be an issue from childhood, I should probably look into that. But since sharing that I'm using mine, there's an unbelievable amount of people that I know that have actually come back to me and said, yeah, I use this or my nan uses that. One thing I have to be completely honest about, guys, is I cannot conclusively or authentically say that there's one particular product or one particular practice that has helped me the most improve my sleep over the last couple of months. Other than CBD, which I've been taking for about 18 months, all of these things that I've just mentioned were kind of stacked together around about the same time. The time of recording now is currently the 5th of November. 2020, UK lockdown 2.0, day number one. And it was kind of back in the summer, about July or August time that I started to put this stuff together. But I can say conclusively that compared to life generally before and life generally now, sleep is unbelievably better. I am gonna keep riding this way, keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep asking questions. I'm gonna keep looking at research. I'm gonna keep speaking to people who know a hell of a lot more about this stuff than I do and investigate everything I can to once again improve performance, physique and health and longevity as I do believe that is the kind of the magic trifecta of everything that so many people want. I look forward to collating all this information and then sharing it with you guys on this very channel. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please do that now. Please give us a big thumbs up, like, press that like button, leave any positive comments or questions down below and I look forward to speaking to you guys again soon about something even more interesting. Love you, bye, have a great day.